want to welcome everyone as we kick off Small Business Week here in Central South Carolina in the Columbia area. Uh, we're delighted to be here at Widash Furnishings on Gervais Street for this exciting time. We're pleased to have many special guests with us this morning and many special officials, elected officials, who are with us this morning also. I want to start by thanking Blue Cross and Blue Shield of South Carolina for sponsoring small, the Small Business Council and many of our events for Small Business Week. Thank you, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, for all that you do for our region. Small Business Week casts a spotlight on our country's small businesses. Small business owners are innovators. They are problem solvers. They create products and services that are better, smarter, and even more efficient than the ones that came before them. And maybe, most importantly, small business owners are the risk takers in our communities. And through their success, they inspire others to dream big and to start new businesses on, of their own. As the week is dedicated to small businesses, we want to kick off the week at one of Columbia's small businesses. Whitney, Whitney Black and his brother Jerry built Wid Ash Furniture Furnishings 50 years ago, starting in 1969. Their story is truly one of innovation and entrepreneurship. And it is entrepreneurs who start small businesses that enrich our communities and make our neighborhoods vibrant, places to live, to work, and to play. And we applaud Whitney and his brother Jerry for the success of Whitash Furnishings here on Gervais Street for 50 years of success in this community. It now gives me great pride to introduce to you a man that needs no introduction to this community. He's done so much for this region and for small businesses. We're honored to have with us today the Honorable James E. Clyburn, House Majority Whip, U.S. House of Representatives for the 6th Congressional District. Congressman Clyburn is a passionate supporter of historic preservation and restoration programs. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Congressman Jim Clyburn. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And thank you so much for inviting me to be here with you today, Melissa. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Thank you so much for all that you do for small businesses. I uh, walked up today uh, to meet Mr. Whitney. Uh, thank you so much. And I'm a bit surprised because as I was coming, I was thinking back uh, to my first interaction with this business. Um, and I couldn't remember exactly when it was. He remembered uh, and reminded me of a sofa uh, that I still have. I can't afford to get another one, uh, that he sold me back in 1972. And being the kind of small business that it, that it is, he and his brother uh, delivered uh, that sofa to us. And it, to reminisce about that also reminded me of my mom's, who was a small businesswoman. And there's a very interesting development in my life regarding her small business. My mom's passed away in 1971, just after my first run for public office, 1970. I lost that election uh, after going to bed thinking I had been a winner. Uh, and of course, uh, I came to work for John West, and my mother took sick, passed away in August of 71. Just after that, I went down to meet with the Small Business Administration because I had aspirations to own a small business. When I went in and asked questions uh, about it, uh, I noticed uh, that the uh, gentleman was a bit reticent to answer my questions because I was really interested in the diversity uh, taking place uh, with the Small Business Administration and whether or not in 1970 uh, I would be uh, considered. Uh, well, I found out later, after following up with him, uh, that they had only two loans, had made only two loans to African Americans uh, by the Small Business Administration, and my mother had both of them. That bothered me uh, a great deal. So when I got elected to Congress, uh, after choosing uh, the committees I wanted to serve on at that time, Public Works and Veterans, I asked for a waiver to be allowed to serve on the Small Business Administration Committee. On that committee, I got to work 
very closely uh, with small businesses throughout the country, gain a tremendous amount of respect for those businesses. And I still work very hard and closely with Nydia Velasquez, who's now the chair of the Small Business Administration. And Nydia and I work very closely on these issues because I believe very strongly uh, in small family-owned businesses. That is what it takes to make a community like this one, a city like this one, a state like this one move forward and make progress. So I want to congratulate uh, all of you who have had anything to do with helping small businesses to grow in this city. It is what will make us the city that we would like for it to be. It is what will make us attractive to young men and women looking to make a home, looking to make a future in a state like this one. And I want to thank you so much for being here and congratulations on this year's Small Business Week. Thank you, Congressman Clyburn, and thank you for all that you've done for small business in this community, and thank you for your support of the Columbia Chamber. I also have the great pleasure of introducing the Honorable Joe Wilson. Uh, Joe Wilson is U.S. House of Representatives of the 2nd Congressional District. He is here with us here today. Joe has served in Congress since 2001. He is a, a real estate attorney by trade and a founding partner of the West Columbia law firm of Kirkland, Wilson, Taylor, and Thomas, a small businessman himself in the past. So we welcome Congressman Wilson with us today, and again, thanks to him for his support of the Columbia Chamber. And David, thank you very much. And I want to thank the uh, Columbia Chamber, the leadership of uh, David Lockwood, Carl Blackstone. Uh, I'm honored to be here with my colleague, Congressman Jim Clyburn, uh, our other elected officials. Mayor, thank you for being here. I, I and, chair, uh, and our county council members, uh, it's an honor to be here with uh, Whitney and Marilyn Black. Uh, like uh, virtually everyone here, uh, we are happy customers. And so it's just been a, a wonderful experience to uh, recognize that. Additionally, I want to thank Michelle Abraham, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Small Business uh, Community Development Centers that you have achieved. Uh, and the last year has been a very successful year with nearly 5,800 uh, different uh, businesses that they work with, clients creating and building uh, more than 1,000 jobs, creating and establishing uh, 138 uh, uh, new businesses. Uh, this is a, a consortium. Uh, showing uh, people working together, uh, public-private, but our universities, uh, with Clemson, uh, with South Carolina State, with uh, Winthrop University and the University of South Carolina, working together to provide assistance to create small businesses. And uh, as was identified, I, as a former real estate attorney, uh, was there to see small businesses, see opportunities be created. And so, it's, again, it's just an honor to be here at, at such an extraordinary week a small business week and however our office can be uh, of assistance uh, we want small businesses to continue uh, their success uh, with the uh, record low uh, unemployment that we have uh, it's a uh, that's good and bad uh, because uh, it uh, the competition for uh, employees but what a wonderful environment because that means more customers uh, as we have achieved uh, our country uh, the highest level of uh, middle class uh, per capita income in the history of our country. Uh, consumers are driving the economy, creating jobs and opportunity. God bless you. Thank you very much. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, still. Sorry, Carl Blackstone with the Columbia Chamber. Uh, before we go on with the program, would you like to say a few words? The Honorable Steve Benjamin. I'll be up here less than 90 seconds. Count them. And, and Vice Chair, County Council, you got to come up here. You got to be, please. We insist. Okay. We insist. Uh, on the personal note, I remember my very first home. Purchased my first home in 1995. And uh, coming into this business uh, and meeting uh, Whitney and um, buying what I could afford, and I will tell you that furniture, the furniture still 
sits in our living room uh, uh, to this day. But I remember being treated with the service level that you can only find in small businesses across America. Uh, Whitney knows every single inch of this place. Uh, he knows all of his customers. And that's the reason why we keep coming back and back and back. He is representative of what it means to be a successful small businessman in America, invest in cities long before it's popular. He was here in the Vista before the Vista was the Vista, and he remains here. Uh, so much so, we've been happy with this service that uh, we were back here on Saturday. Um, bought my uh, soon-to-be 12-year-old uh, a new bedroom set as she prepares to become a bigger girl. Uh, and um, we'll keep coming back. And again, this is uh, about more than with Ash. This is about creating an ecosystem that supports small and family-owned businesses all across Columbia, South Carolina, all across America. We're so thankful to all the partners from our Office of Business Opportunities, our Small Business Administration, incredible work that, that the Columbia Chamber does, uh, partnership with the city in Richland County. Uh, it takes all of us to make sure we create an environment that continues to, to, to nurture the most talented, educated, and entrepreneurial system and city in America. Thank you, and God bless you. And thank you, Congressman Clyburn. Thank you, Congressman Wilson, uh, for being here and your full support. Thank you. Great. Uh, and I want to echo Steve's comments. Um, thank you to Congressman Clyburn and Congressman Wilson for being here today. We really appreciate your support, as well as the mayor. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure now to introduce uh, Reverend Ed McDowell, City of Columbia Council Member District 2, to the podium to read a proclamation. Before I read this proclamation, I do want to say unequivocally and unalterably uh, that some years ago, while we did not buy a couch, <laughs> Congressman Clyburn, we did buy a chair. <laughs> and I told Whitney that today, just a few moments ago, but that doesn't help a whole lot in our entrepreneurship in terms of buying more furniture. The chair is still actively used. <laughs> I want to thank each of you for your time, for your presence, to both of our congresspersons, uh, Clyburn and uh, Wilson, to all of you who have gathered, uh, to our OBO, to small businesses everywhere that simply nurtures the roots of entrepreneurship, we are grateful. I have a proclamation to read. Uh, it's got several, several whereases. So if you would allow me, I'm going to do the best I can so that I don't meet, miss a whereas. Whereas Small Business Week is a significant moment of the year to salute our small businesses for the countless contributions made to our community. And whereas small businesses is at the heart of every community tradi with traditional values while providing new ideas, new jobs, and increase sustainability. And whereas small businesses represents a tradition of hardworking, dedicated individuals living the American dream of providing for their families, creating jobs, opportunities for their neighbors, and many invaluable contributions to their community. And whereas Small businesses are a vibrant and vital segment of our local economy and a huge economic force for thought throughout the nation. And whereas there are more than 16,000 small businesses, many of them minority owned and operated in the city of Columbia and throughout Richland County that employ between one to four, 49 people each. And whereas residents of our community and communities across the nation 
are being asked to support small businesses and merchants during Small Business Week. And whereas the City of Columbia and the Greater Columbia Chamber of Commerce, Kerma, Commerce, recognize and value small businesses within our community and their priceless contributions to this rural and city of ours. Now, therefore, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, mayor of the city of <laughs> We always got a group back there, huh, haven't we? <laughs> now for uh, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, mayor of the city of Columbia, South Carolina, along with my fellow members of Columbia City Council, hereby proclaim the week, May 5 through May 11, 2019, as Small Business Week. In the greatest city, the famously hot city, <laughs> that is relatively cool today, let's celebrate Small Business Week. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Reverend McDowell. Um, this is a great partnership. This uh, re recognizes Small Business Week as a partnership between the, the Columbia Chamber, the City of Columbia, and also Richland County. And we're pleased to have two members of Richland County Council with us, uh, Chair Paul Livingston and Councilwoman Delia Myers. And at this time, I would certainly appreciate the uh, chairman coming up. Chairman Livingston. Thank you. Good morning. It is indeed an absolute genuine pleasure for me to welcome you on behalf of Richmond County Council and my vice chair is there in Myers. Come on up, quit, quit trying to hide. <laughs> you know, I, I think your presence is a keen indication of the significance of this week. Think about the collaboration and cooperation among the groups that are here to help make this community such a wonderful, wonderful community. You know, um, I've purchased four more things than the rest of them, but we're going to ask you not. <laughs> I actually was raised for about four blocks from here, so I was also here longer than the rest of them. <laughs> but again, um, I also would like to um, share with you a, a proclamation on behalf of Richmond County Council. Um, now, I will not read all my words. I'm going to leave those out that Reverend McDowell um, covered already. <laughs> But let me at least share some of those with you. And quick, this is a proclamation recognizing May 6th through the 10th, 2019 as Small Business Week, where Small Business Week is a time to set aside to acknowledge our small businesses for the contributions they make to our great community, where small businesses are the core of every citizen maintaining traditional values while providing fresh ideas, new jobs, and increased flexibility. And whereas small businesses are vibrant, vital segments of our economy and vast economic forces throughout the nation, particularly Columbia and Richland County. Whereas small businesses fall into either part-time or full-time operations, but are almost exclusively run by self-employed entrepreneurs. And whereas small businesses represent a tradition of hardworking, dedicated individuals living the American dream to provide for their families and opportunities for their neighbors to make valuable contributions um, to the community, where small businesses provide an incredible force to, to the stability of our communities. And whereas there are, there are approximately 15,000 small businesses, many of them minority owned and operated throughout Richland County, employing between one and, and 49 of people. Whereas res residents of our community and communities across the nation are being asked to support small businesses during Small Business Week and throughout the year. Where it's in the county council recognizes the value that small businesses bring to our community and salutes their remarkable contributions. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that Paul Livingston District 4 
as Richardson County Council do hereby proclaim this week, May 6th through 10th, 2019, as Small Business Week, signed and sealed this day um, by Paul Livingston Chair, Richardson County Council. Again, I'm happy Richardson County Council. Thank you, and let's continue this great effort for our community. You want to say hello? Good morning and happy Small Business Week. As a small business owner, um, I know how difficult it can be to own, operate, and manage a business as more than just a job for yourself. So let's continue to encourage those businesses to grow and thrive, especially in our region. Happy Small Business Week. Thank you. I'm going to ask uh, Ron Harvey, chair of our Small Business Council, up here with me, if you don't mind. And, um, and can we have uh, Whitney? Can you, Sir, can you join us up here? We just want to uh, present on behalf of the chamber and all of us, thank you for being here. Thank you for your commitment to small business. Thank you for your commitment to Columbia. And we appreciate all that you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, again, it's a great partnership with our both our local, our county, our city, our federal partners that are here with us today um, to make small business work. And everybody, there are a ton of people working every day, waking up and trying to make small businesses better in this community. And so for all of them, thank you very much. Yesterday, as I was watching soccer with my kids, uh, we were we ended up watching afterwards a uh, a documentary on the great soccer player Pele and um, there was a quote from Pele that was that stuck out to me it said success is no accident it's hard work perseverance learning studying sacrifice and most of all love of what you're doing or learning to do it which is very similar to what small business people do every day which is waking up and studying a new business model or adjusting to the times but it's a lot of hard work and perseverance so I'll wrap that up and just say congratulations to all the small businesses. We appreciate what you do to this community.